Hey everyone, Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to take you through how to set up the wallet known as HANA. Now this is a fantastic wallet to set up if you're going to use the Icon ecosystem, but what's great about this wallet is now it's expanding so you can use various other chains like Binance Smart Chain, Polkadot and a few others. But this tutorial today, we're going to set it up as if it's an Icon wallet. I'm going to show you the navigation menus and how you can do various things in this wallet. So let's dive in. So the first thing you want to do is install the extension. Now I'll have this in the show notes, so you can just use that link to ensure it is safe. When you add it, add it as the extension. And there we go. So what I'll do next is I'm going to pin it and I'm going to then open it. So in this tutorial, I want to set up a brand new wallet. And um, that's what we're going to do rather than importing it. Now you can import it if you want to restore your IconX wallet or things like that. I have got a separate video showing you how to do that. But today we're going to set up a new wallet. So the first thing you want to do is set up the password. Now this password will be for this wallet uh, on this particular extension. So make sure you set it up and remember it. Don't forget it. Now the next thing is you will get this seed phrase. So if this is your first time in crypto, this is super important. This seed phrase is how you'll restore your wallet in the future. Um, and uh, it, so, for example, your computer stops working. As long as you've securely saved the seed phrase, not on the cloud, because if you get hacked and someone gets access to it, they'll get your funds. But if you've secured it, you can then come in with a new computer, just copy and paste it in to import the wallet. Um, section and it will ask you for your seed phrase you put your seed phrase in there and it will restore your wallet so super important to uh, how you save it how you keep it and why it asks you to do this process so let's continue on so the next step is you need to confirm your seed phrase so uh, you just saw me copy it like this is a part of the verification process that you've copied it and you saved it because you need to um, put in in the exact uh, format how how it goes so that's what i'm going to do now okay and there you go so i've picked all of them in order to what my seed phrase was and i'll hit continue excellent so now this is the this is the next part remember i said we we're going to set it up for icon however you can see over here there's various other chains that you can enable the wallet for but to keep things simple i'm gonna for the moment just pick icon and hit continue and you yeah, have standard disclaimers great so that is all set up in the setup process i have created my password and got my seed phrase which i've explained why it's important now let's get started so first things first i'm going to show you some wallet navigation now what i've done is i've taken this extension it's the same wallet i've just had it uh, opened it in the browser so that you can look at it nice big rather than it just being a corner of a screen so First things first, you can see that I didn't name my wallet. Now I'll show you how to change the name of the wallet in case, you know, um, you set up a few wallets, but let's go over the, the navigation. You can see these three lines here. With this, you can uh, again, add more wallets. You can lock the wallet over here. You can swap between, and this is pretty cool. Um, right now, you know, you're on icon, but the various chains, it has a lot of the test nets in there. If that's what you're using the wallet for, but I won't go too far into that. Right now it sets you up on mainnet. I'm assuming you're a new user and that's what you're gonna do. So next thing is you can see the tokens. It's got your home button, which displays if you had more tokens, it would show it. Manage tokens, if I click that, here you have a list of all the um, standard tokens that you would have in your wallet. But if a token is in here that's on icon, it's a matter of just getting that contract address and pasting it here and it will find that token for you. Or you can add it manually and this is how you would add it. See, you put the contract and then it'll populate the rest of the information because it pulls it from the blockchain. Coming back out here, the next button is this. Now it lets, this is a button if you want to send or receive assets. Now. Over here, you can see whatever asset you want to receive. So if it's ICX, remember it, these wallets work the same. This is an IRC standard. This address will be the same for all the IRC tokens in this wallet. So um, it's cool to have different ones that you can go, but you can see it's the same address. 
great. So that's how, that's what this button does. The next button you have, the dollar sign, this is where you go to stake. Now, if you have ICX, you can earn 8% uh, staking rewards by staking. So you lock up your ICX, uh, pick a validator. I will show you that in a moment. So we'll come back to this. The next button is, this shows you basically all your transactions. So if I had an existing wallet and I interacted with the various stats, it would show you the details there. And finally, your settings. Now this is where you can come to manage various aspects. And so I'm just gonna highlight a few quick things. It, one is the change password. If you wanted to give the HANA extension a new password, if you click on manage wallet, this is where, again, you can add new wallets or restore wallet. I don't want to do that. Uh, address book, you could save some addresses that you use frequently. Manage tokens, another way of coming in and um, adding new tokens or removing tokens that you don't have anymore and you don't want to see. Uh, manage chains, if you want to activate any new chains. The authorized DAP section, now this is a really important one. Um, it, as the ecosystem grows, you may connect to some DAPs. It all asks you, do you want to connect? And once you're connected, it saves the authorization in the wallet. If you ever realize, oh crap, I didn't want to connect to that and you wanted to remove that application DAP, you would come into this and you'll see a list and you just remove it. So handy, handy little um, place thing to know and where it's located. But overall, this is how your wallet looks. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some ICX, send some ICX to this wallet. And the way I would do it is literally hit receive tokens icon and copy this address and I'm going to send it from another wallet and then I'm going to show you how to stake some ICX. So let's do that now. Okay, so I've got my wallet with some ICX in it. Now I'm going to show you how to stake, but just before I do that, I want to show you quickly how to change your wallet name. Because if, if you went through the process with me, it didn't prompt you earlier, and you may be stuck with wallet one and you're thinking, oh God, I hate that. So what you want to do is click on your three lines and actually what you want to do is go to settings and manage wallet and over here, click wallet one and then click edit. And then, um, uh, kill and save changes there we go now I've got a new um, and I could back it up if I want but I'm not going to back it up I'm just going to head back out and click on home great there we go now I want a stake so let's head on over to this icon here and that shows you the transactions actually. So this is good before I didn't have it. Um, I believe staking is the dollar sign. So we head on over here. Now, if you're new to icon staking, it is basically how we validate the network. So what you can do is take your ICX and stake it. Now it does get locked in terms of if you wanna unstake it, there's a period of around eight days. So you need to be aware of that. So what you do is click on icon staking. Now over here, you can then pick your P rep or your validators, however you want to look at it. So uh, in this case, what I'll do is I'll just gonna find Rhizome and allocate some votes for it. Uh, what does why do, does it matter who you vote for? Well, it depends. It does, and you kind of want to vote for uh, the validators you see actively um, helping the network grow in every way, shape, or form. Now. If you're new, you may not know who they are. So by default, I would just go and pick your top 21 uh, validators. Uh, these days now, they are um, definitely people who are impacting the icon ecosystem. So um, let's go here. I'm gonna vote for Rhizome and allocate now. I don't want to, I want, to, okay. Okay, this is great. So I've gone to vote, I've picked Rhizome. But straight away, it's highlighting that I have 24 votes, keeping one ICX in the wallet for fees. Uh, I want to change the allocation. Okay, so rather than allocate, I've gone in and I'm gonna slide uh, five ICX here. If, if I wanted to, I could actually add more uh, validators to, to the list. So Rise, uh, Reliant Node, a great one. They actually built the wallet, so sure, I'm gonna vote for them. Now I can change allocation and I can give them uh, five and I can give another five here. 
Great, and I could add another five different uh, validators and delegate my stake. But that's how essentially you do it. You pick your P reps, you assign. If you don't, it will just default and add um, and split evenly or add as many votes uh, you have and are able to stake. Hit confirm votes. And you can see it can go up to 20 days depending on what's happening with the network. And there you go, that's done. So you can see that I have voted and every day now after the first 48 hours from initial staking, uh, every day I'll be able to claim what is an I score, which should pop up just over here. And uh, that will give me my uh, staking rewards in ICX. Cool. So I think that's covered everything you need to know about the HANA wallet. As always, if you've enjoyed the tutorial, like, if you've enjoyed the tutorial, like, share, subscribe. And if you have any requests, let me know and I will we'll try to cover this content on this channel. Thanks everyone. Take care.